Photosynthesis is the process by which green plants and certain other autotrophic organisms manufacture their own food material in the form of carbohydrates from carbon dioxide and water in the presence of chlorophyll and sunlight through a complex series of reactions within the organism. In other words, it is a process of converting light energy to chemical energy. Photosynthesis takes place inside cellular organelles called chloroplasts which contain abundant photosynthetic pigments called chlorophyll. Chloroplasts are found in abundance in green leaves and are therefore the major site of photosynthesis in plants. Gaseous oxygen is a major byproduct of the process of photosynthesis. The chemical reactions that take place in this process may be summarized as follows. Photosynthesis occurs in two major steps, both of which take place within the chloroplasts a light reaction, and a dark reaction. Starch is eventually formed as a reserve food by plants at the end of a photosynthetic process. If a plant is stripped of any one or all of the vital factors necessary for it to carry on photosynthesis, then photosynthesis immediately ceases to occur in that plant. As a result, the plant starts utilizing its existing reserve food that's been stored in the form of starch. Eventually, the plant would have used up all its remaining stored starch and become what is known as a destarched plant. A destarched plant cannot remain alive for long unless it is resupplied with the vital factors necessary for photosynthesis to occur. The absence or presence of starch and thereby photosynthesis is determined using iodine solution, which turned blue black in color in the presence of starch but retains its original brown color in the absence of starch. In this experiment, we're going to investigate the role of chlorophyll in the process of photosynthesis and find out if chlorophyll is indeed a vital component for photosynthesis to occur in a plant. For this, we'll be using a plant with variegated leaves. A variegated leaf is a leaf that contains irregular patches of different colors in addition to green. We're going to expose this variegated leaf to sunlight and see if photosynthesis equally occurs in the green and non-green parts of the leaf. For this experiment, we'll need the following. A potted plant with variegated leaves, water bath, a test tube, ethanol or isopropanol or methylated spirit, aqueous iodine solution, petri dish, forceps. Begin the experiment by placing the potted plant in the dark for about two to three days. This step is essential in order to rid the plant of any starch that was formed in the leaves prior to the start of the experiment. At the end of this time period, remove the potted plant from the dark and place it in sunlight for several hours. Then pluck a leaf from the plant and introduce it into the test tube containing the alcohol solution. Place the tube in the boiling water bath. It is highly advisable to use a hot plate instead of an open flame for the water bath considering the highly flammable nature of alcohols. During this boiling step, chlorophyll pigments in the leaf are decolorized by the hot alcohol solution, resulting in a bleached leaf with pale white color. This step is necessary for a better visualization of the iodine starch reaction on the leaf surface in the later part of this experiment. Once bleaching of the leaf has been accomplished, Remove the leaf from the alcohol using a forcep. Briefly place the leaf for a few seconds in the hot water bath in order to soften the leaf. Transfer the leaf in a petri dish containing iodine solution. After a couple of minutes, you'll see that the parts of the leaf that originally contained the green spots test positive for iodine by becoming blue-black in color. However, the variegated spots on the leaf do not show any significant change in color except for a faint brown iodine color. This is a negative test for starch and thereby photosynthesis. This simple experiment clearly demonstrates that chlorophyll is an absolute essential for photosynthesis to take place in a plant.